And now, storm tracker weather with East Idaho's chief meteorologist, Doug Iverson. Sky is mainly clear over East Idaho right now, but as you can see, off towards the southwest, things are clouding up a little bit. No, no snow. No rain in that, just some clouds as the atmospheric systems kind of move a little bit, a little hiccup in that. So we got a few clouds over the top of us tonight. That won't really help us out as far as temperatures are concerned. In fact, the air's dried out quite a bit the last several days, so that will allow us to get even colder than we got last night. And some of us are already in the icebox. Jackson around 19, West Yellowstone at 18, Idaho Falls 25, and Almost 10 degrees warmer in Pocatello at 34. We won't stay above freezing long, though, here in the Gate City. I would suspect by 6, 6.30, it'll already be freezing over Pocatello. We're above freezing briefly over in Twin Falls. Meanwhile, up in Haley, it's 23. And we got 40s on the map over in Boise, one in Elko, Salt Lake City right now at 38 degrees. So your forecast tonight, partly cloudy. Look how cold it's going to get for the upper plain. That's colder than last night. Single digits. Fortunately, not quite as cold in Pocatello. We'll have a low of 10. Blackfoot, you'll see a low of 10. Or I should say Pocatello at 16, Blackfoot at 10. Chalice tonight will be about 10. 12 for a low in Salmon. That's colder than last night. And Stanley, all the way down below zero, minus three to be exact. Oh, I know that's way too cold. For the upper highlands in western Wyoming, speaking of way too cold, Yellowstone, 11 below zero. It's already the single digits now, so yeah. 11 below zero is definitely doable. Four below in Jackson overnight. We have the goose egg and Driggs. Partly cloudy for the southeast highlands, all places in the single digits. Barely, barely below, or I should say barely above zero, right at zero in Montpelier. Uh, one above in Soda Springs, five in Downey. And then tomorrow, it will look warm, lots of sunshine, but it certainly won't be that way. High temperatures will be in the mix of the 20s, lower 30s. For the upper highlands, more sunshine. Yellowstone will struggle, will hit 19. High temperatures in the 20s, these are actually pretty close to where they typically are for this time of year. And more sunshine for the central mountains. Only one spot getting above freezing, salmon at 34. And Pocatello will also see high at 34, but the rest of us will be freezing all day long. Your southeast Idaho Chevy dealer's seven-day forecast. We got even colder weather tomorrow night. We'll be freezing on Wednesday. We're not there long, though. A slight warm-up beginning Thursday. And look at that, late Friday, that's a rain-snow mix. This weekend, all rain, at least for Saturday, back to that rain-snow mix on Sunday. Idaho Falls, colder tomorrow night. we got the goose egg, still pretty cold at night, but we do get warmer with this next storm system, above freezing on Friday. It looks like we got a rain-snow mix on Saturday. Teton area, snow on the way Friday, and that will take us clear through the weekend. But until then, just cold with lots of sunshine. And your Central Mountain seven day forecast. We got plenty of sunshine the next couple of days, but awfully cold. Another night tomorrow night in the single digits. By Friday, we warm up. That'll be a rain snow mix that'll take us into Saturday and into Sunday. 